it's actually quite a full-on procedure that you have to go through when you're heading out to protected environments like Maud Island in the Marlborough Sounds, which is where I'm heading. Good morning, Tom. Hi, Nikki. Hey, uh, what do we have to do? I'm going to Maud Island and I've got a bunch of stuff. What do we have to do with it? I've got to go make sure that all your gear before you go out there is clean and that you don't have any mice or um, insects like spiders or ants or even um, we're concerned about dirt on shoes and things like that which carrying a fungus so that kills the native frogs that live out there and um, the frog fungus is found on the mainland and it's not found on the island and we've got frogs that live on Maud Island that only live on Maud Island and nowhere else in the world so we don't want the fungus to get there. Tom was telling me earlier that somebody has even had germinating seeds in, in the dirt in the cracks in their boots so we probably better be vigilant. Let's yep. get started. I've finally got the green light. I'm off to Maud. I'll see you there. G'day! The Maud Island frog is found on Maud Island in the Marlborough Sounds and is one of only four native New Zealand frogs. Now, these are not your average frog. They don't have any webbing between their wee toes. They don't make any croaking noises at all. And they don't even have a tadpole stage. So they don't fit your ordinary frog profile, but they are certainly fascinating and amazing and ancient little creatures. Island frogs out there in the world? They're probably uh, 20 to 40,000. And they're only found here? Only on Maud Island, and there have been some uh, transferred on two other islands in the Sounds, just as small backup populations in case anything happened to the frogs here. They haven't changed in 135 million years, so they've obviously got onto a good design and stuck with it. And the neat thing about them is they don't have tadpoles. So what happens is the tadpoles, the tadpole stage forms while they're in the egg and they have their own personal swimming pool, if you like, and then they hatch out as little froglings and they climb up on their dad's back. And that's where they spend the first few weeks of their life where they're protected by their dad. And after that, they jump off and get on with life. The reason that I am wearing gloves is that frogs are so sensitive to their surroundings that the heat from my skin could actually burn this little frog. And when it comes to our weird and wonderful wildlife in New Zealand, I think that frogs get a little bit overlooked. And I think perhaps the, the native frogs get overlooked because they don't even croak. But you have to admit that the Maud Island frogs are actually really special. And I think pretty cute too. 